all the ghetto, extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant, and I react like a convict and start killing it's manifesto, the gods work like appliances, dealing in my cycle, the life is Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Null to explain here, and obviously, this is gonna be the time of the month where I'm gonna be talking about spoilers. So, if you're an anime only viewer and you have not read the Boruto manga, I highly recommend reading the manga, and I will leave links down in the description box for you guys to read the manga and do so in a way that helps support the channel. But if you're still here, I'm gonna assume you're okay with me talking about spoilers. So, obviously, at the end of the last Boruto chapter, we got the revelation that Amado was essentially, potentially, working with Kashin Koji to bring down Jigen because he gives Koji an approximate estimation of where Jigen's power is at the moment. He says he hasn't fully recovered yet. He hasn't even recovered up to 10% of his power. Does this mean you're going to do it? Are you going to attempt to kill Jigen? And Kashin Koji says, absolutely, in the chapter ends off with Kashin Koji potentially staring down Jigen and this brings up the huge question are we finally going to see the identity of Kashin Koji are we finally going to see Kashin Koji and Jigen go at it and I definitely think that the answer is yes but I want to talk about whether or not Jigen will be able to kill Kashin Koji and I think the answer is yes because let's be real for a second okay like Kashin Koji I love the mystery aspect, but if we go back to how things were done in the Naruto manga, the big thing is, it's like reveals like this, the whole uh, who is in the sixth coffin, who is in the Tobi mask, those things typically last about three years. Like the threat of Orochimaru, technically Orochimaru was a threat for roughly three years. We're coming up on that point where Kashin Koji, I believe he's two and a half years since he's actually debuted. So we're getting to that point where we can now start Start discussing the possibility of Kashin Koji potentially having his identity revealed and potentially having him completely written out the story by having him killed off. Now, some people might say that's a bad idea. I'm going to explain to you guys why I do agree with you, but I also think that now's the time to do it. Now, essentially, when it comes to car organization, one thing that should be clear to you guys is that Kara has gone the route of basically we've seen a bunch of inner members being taken down we've seen a handful of outer members being taken down and now we have this moment where essentially we've seen the big players edit we've seen delta fight we've seen jigen fight we've seen koji fight we've seen boro be defeated code is guarding the ten tails we've seen uh one of the subordinates of delta get killed by kawaki we've seen a bunch of these members get either killed off or thrown into a battle so Kara is being run through a lot quicker than what you got with the Koski, which that tells me they're setting up the potential of there being another threat somewhere. I think Jigen has something else set up or Kara is about to advance to stage two of their plan because they're, they're, they're being shown in the story way too quickly and they're being written out way too quickly. So just looking at the trend, now might be the time for Kashin Koji to meet his abrupt end. Now, the reason why I think this will be a good idea, though, is we know that Jigen was powerful enough that he was able to raffle stomp Naruto and Sasuke despite not being able to pull out the full power of Ashiki Asusuke and just using the power of Jigen he was able to fight on a somewhat equal playing field of Naruto and Sasuke before they got super serious and started by their own admission using their full power so I think that what you're going to get here is an idea of how much stronger Konohamaru has to get because Konohamaru was the one who did clash Rasengan gone to Rasengan with Kashin Koji. This gives you an idea of how much further the other members of Team 7 need to progress before they're able to get with Jigen. Let's say Jigen is at 10% of his power when Kashin Koji comes. Let's say uh, Amato's uh, calculations are off and he's really at 10%. Well, now we know that Naruto and Sasuke would be 10 times stronger than Kashin Koji. So now you have a way to feasibly start multiplying how much powerful Boruto and the other cast need to get before they can attempt to take down the threat of Jigen. So I think that this would be a really good idea. And I also think that killing off a character like Kashin Koji, while you do sacrifice the opportunity to have the mystery element, the thing with Kashin Koji is he's one of the few. And when I say few, he's basically the only member of the car organization that 
we've got some emotional investment in. Like with Jigen, we don't know much about Jigen. We just know that this dude is a Asuski clan vessel, but we don't know anything about him. We don't know much about Kashin Koji, but we've been invested because of the mystery element. Who is this guy? Is he really Jiraiya? Is he really a Saro Tobi? What are his connections to the Hidden Leaf Village? Is uh, Kashin Koji secretly a spy? Now we're seeing everything. Now we're seeing the payoff of what we got about 10, oh hell, it was more than 10 chapters ago. I think around chapter 28, around that time where you actually see that moment where Kashin Koji is watching the Kawaki instances, where Kashin Koji's uh, revelation, I think in chapter 31, in that chapter, you have that moment where uh, Kashin Koji is looking over, uh, looking over the fight and I believe it was Delta or somebody like that who shows up. You have that revelation that Jigen is aware that Kashin Koji is up to something and Delta goes to check on him. Where around chapter 35, if I'm not mistaken, Jigen shows up and Jigen makes eye contact with the toad that Kashin Koji is using to spy. Koji freaks out. Like everything is setting up for a potential showdown between these guys. And I think that this will give us an opportunity to have some time where we have exposition given to us to where we learn about the history of these characters because Koji knows enough about Jigen that he knew that Naruto and Sasuke, even if they fought at full power, didn't stand a chance against this guy. So the fact that he feels that Jigen is weak enough to kill lets you know that Koji potentially has some information that could be useful. But I want to know from you guys, do you think it's a bad idea to have Kashi and Koji kill it off at this point in the story or do you think he needs to linger around let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below but as always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching on to the end have an awesome day guys